Back here on CBS Sports HQ, here's a look at the schools who won their conference tournaments and earned automatic bids. 32 teams on the board, a thing of beauty. And welcome to the big dance for the first time. Stetson out of the Atlantic Sun and Grambling State from the SWAC making their very first NCAA tournament appearance. CBS Sports HQ is presented by Belfour, restoring more than property. Back here with Matt Norlander and Tim Doyle. We look at that board and you see 32 teams on it. Who is the biggest surprise team to earn an auto bid, Matt? To me, and there are plenty of candidates, plenty of candidates, oh, yeah. but I'm going to go with the team that won five games oh, yeah. in five days. North Carolina State Wolfpack, incredible. We went from Kevin Keats's job potentially being on the hot seat to, by the terms of his contract, him earning an extension for winning the ACC tournament. And why is that? Because NC State hadn't done it since the 1980s. DJ Burns in a tournament that is going to have a number of folk heroes. DJ Burns of NC State might be at the top of the list. To from the 10 seed in the ACC brackets to now getting into the field with an automatic bid. To me, the most surprising and potentially uplifting story of any you know top 15 auto bid team that's out there yeah they just feel dangerous you know Burns and Horn were so great Michael O'Connell's playing his best basketball this season the transfer from Stanford they put it together and they beat Blue Bloods I mean you beat North Carolina Duke and Virginia with three teams that have dominated the ACC I don't know for the last 40 years uh, it's kind of hard to top that I'll take a shot Matt with New Mexico, they needed a win in the Mountain West. Now, we all believe the Mountain West Conference is going to get six teams. I don't play that numbers game. That's what Jerry Palm does. But what emotion they played with. It was awesome to see basically the entire state of New Mexico leave and come to Las Vegas. And I basically waited for Evan Washburn to interview Jalen House after every game because he was going nuts. He was going nuts on the floor. He was going nuts at the microphone. Him, Eddie House's son, Jamal Mashburn's son, uh, J Nelly Jr. Joseph, Richard Pitino. This is a team that was really up and down. But you can say a lot about, about a lot of Mountain West teams this year because every game was such a grind and it was so difficult to win on the road. Now, I will say this to Cayman. I will stick by this. I do think they get knocked out in the first round. Mm. That was such an emotional stretch. And I think they left it all on the floor in Vegas. And even though NC State won more games, they won five versus four. Watching the reaction from the team and getting into the tournament and then winning that and that electric atmosphere, if they play in a region that is hard for New Mexico people to travel, unlike Vegas, and they play that weird late game with that weird early game and there's no atmosphere, Oh, yeah, that's like a team I'm circling that they will not get through their first game. All right, let's talk now about an under-the-radar team to watch out for, Matt. Who's one of those teams that we're not talking about enough? Give me Utah State. The Aggies are a team that we're going to have a six-bid Mountain West. They're a quality team. Danny Sprinkle in his first season doesn't return a point from the, from the group last season, and they go in, and they have great Austin Bohr, who's been an amazing player, came from Montana State with Danny Sprinkle. Just an incredible, incredible story, and I think, you know, a team that's 25-plus wins, they're going to have the capacity to make a second weekend kind of run. I'm not predicting them to make a Final Four, but we've seen these kinds of things happen in recent seasons. If you told me that Utah State parlayed it, made a Final Four, it wouldn't stun me. So this is an under-the-radar, non-1, 2, 3, 4 projected seed that I think we need to watch. I love the Aggies' potential. I think the Mountain West has got a good chance to send at least two teams to the second weekend this season. I think Utah State has as good a chance as anyone, including the likes of San Diego State. You know, last year I had high hopes for them. They got smacked. Yeah. I Missouri in the first round. I mean, embarrassed in that game. And then obviously a coaching change and a complete roster overhaul. But maybe I'm just carrying the flag for the Missouri Valley Conference. Here I am right now because it's a safe flag to carry. Uh, I'm going to go with Drake. Uh, I know they're going to get into the tournament. I, I do believe that Indiana State's not going to get in. And it's disappointing. But Drake has been there before, and they have a high-level player in Tucker DeVries. I mean, he's kind of like a mini Dirk Nowitzki at the college level. He's six foot eight. He's got a big body. It also helps when your daddy's the coach. And this is a team, you know, Darnell Brody's been there a couple of years. You're seeing him down low. He's a big body. He's a veteran guy. This team has the recipe, guys. The guard, they, def they defend in the half court. They can score in the half court. They have an elite level score. They have experience. They have continuity. Like, they have a lot of a recipe that it's hard to find now in college basketball. And DeVries is a high level scorer that can make really tough shots. But go through the valley. Bradley's had runs. Northern Illinois has had runs. So, uh, Southern Illinois, it just 
throughout Creighton, Wichita State, whoever's been in the Valley has always made a splash. Nobody wants to see them, and I think Drake this year could be one of those teams that wins not one game, but multiple games. You know who's not an under-the-radar team? The UConn Huskies earning the number one overall seed. Their path to Phoenix. Will they run it back? The quest to repeat. Last team to win back-to-back -back national champions, Florida in 2006 and 2007. Will the Huskies be barking in Phoenix? We'll break it down next on CBS Sports HQ, presented by Belfour.